Computers are everywhere. On your desk, in your pocket, even in your car. But on their own, they're just silent machines. What brings them to life? You do. You're the spark that unlocks their power. But you need a way to communicate. Input devices are the bridge between your mind and the machine. They're the tools that turn your ideas into action. Ready to see how it all works? Let's dive in. Ever wondered how you communicate with your computer? What's an input device anyway? Simple. It's any gadget you use to put information or commands into a computer system. Think of it as your way of telling the computer what to do. It's the portal through which you interact with the digital world into your computer. Whether it's a desktop, a laptop, or even a tablet, these devices are essential. It's your way of talking to the machine, expressing your ideas, and controlling its actions. Without them, the computer is just a hunk of circuits. Imagine you're a chef, and the computer is your assistant, ready to carry out your culinary visions. You need to give it instructions, precise and clear, so it knows exactly what to do. Every click, each deliberate movement, keystroke, or spoken word is a command, a piece of the puzzle that tells the computer what you want it to do. Input devices are the computer's senses, the tools it uses to perceive the world around it. A webcam is its eye, allowing it to see and interpret images and videos. A microphone, its ear, capturing sounds and voices, enabling communication and recording. A keyboard or mouse, its sense of touch, allowing you to navigate, select, and interact with the digital environment. Without them, the computer is blind, unable to see the world around it, deaf, unable to hear your instructions or the sounds of the world, and isolated, cut off from the human interaction that gives it purpose. These devices are its only link to you, the vital connection that brings it to life. Their job? Capture your actions, your intentions, your very will, and convert them into digital signals, the language of the machine. They translate your movements and sounds, your subtle gestures and spoken commands into the ones and zeros computers understand, the fundamental building blocks of digital information. It's a constant behind-the-scenes job, a silent partnership, but it's absolutely essential for everything you do. Every task you do with technology, from writing an email to designing a building starts here with these humble devices. Input devices are the foundation of your digital life, the cornerstone of your interaction with the digital world. They're the bridge between your world and the computers, the interface that allows you to shape and control the digital landscape. Let's take a closer look and see how they work, exploring the fascinating world of input devices. Meet the all-stars of input devices. First, the keyboard, your main tool for writing, searching, and commanding. It's the workhorse, letting you talk to your computer in words and symbols. Next, the mouse, your digital finger for pointing, clicking, and dragging. It makes navigating your screen fast and intuitive. The microphone is the computer's ear, capturing your voice for calls, meetings, or voice commands. More and more, we're using microphones to control our devices hands-free. The webcam is the computer's eye, essential for video calls and streaming. And the touchscreen? It combines display and input, letting you tap, swipe, and pinch directly on the screen. These tools make technology accessible, creative, and personal. They're the first step in every digital task. Without them, your computer can't hear, see, or respond to you. That's why they matter. Ever wonder how your computer understands what you want it to do? It all starts with input. How does pressing a key or clicking a mouse actually tell your computer what to do? It seems like magic, but it's really a clever system of signals and translations. When you press a key on your keyboard, you're not just pushing a piece of plastic. You complete a tiny electrical circuit underneath that key. The keyboard then sends a unique code, a specific digital signal, to the computer through the connecting cable. This code represents the key you pressed. The computer receives this code, interprets it, and then displays the corresponding letter on the screen, or executes the command associated with that key. It's a seamless process that happens in milliseconds. The mouse works in a similar way, but instead of individual key presses, it functions by tracking movement across a surface. Modern mice, especially optical mice, use a tiny camera and a small LED light to illuminate the surface beneath them. This camera takes thousands of pictures per second, allowing the mouse to detect the direction and speed of its movement with incredible precision. 
The mouse then sends this movement information to the computer, which translates it into the corresponding movement of your cursor on the screen. Microphones take a different approach, converting the sound waves of your voice into electrical signals. The computer then digitizes these analog electrical signals, turning them into a series of numbers that it can understand and manipulate. This process allows the computer to analyze your voice, recognize words, and ultimately turn your spoken words into data it can process. Touchscreens offer yet another way to interact with computers, using a special coating on the screen that senses the touch of your finger. This coating detects changes in the electrical charge on the screen when your finger makes contact. Sophisticated sensors within the screen pinpoint the exact location where you touched. This location data is then sent to the processor, which interprets it as a command, just like a mouse click or a keyboard press. Each of these devices, in its own unique way, translates your physical actions, presses, movements, sounds, touches, into digital instructions that the computer can understand. Ultimately, it's all about turning your intent, your desires, into concrete actions within the digital world. This entire process, from input to action, happens millions of times a day, often without us even realizing it, working seamlessly in the background. The real magic lies in this translation, the ability to bridge the gap between human intention and machine understanding. And that's how your ideas, your thoughts, your creativity, become a tangible reality on the screen before you. It's a process that's incredibly fast, virtually invisible, and absolutely essential to modern computing. That's the power of input devices, the gateway between you and the digital world. Input devices have some quirky stories. The QWERTY keyboard layout dates back to the 1870s, designed to prevent typewriter jams, yet we still use it today. The first mouse was a wooden block with wheels, nicknamed for its tail-like cord. You can adjust your mouse's sensitivity in settings for a smoother experience. Most devices have built-in voice-to-text. Tap the mic icon and speak instead of typing. It's a huge time saver and surprisingly accurate. For your webcam, good lighting and camera angle make all the difference. Face a light source and keep the camera at eye level. These small tweaks improve your digital life. Input devices aren't just tools, they're part of your daily routine. They evolve, but their job stays the same, making tech work for you. Try these tricks to get more from your gear. A little know-how goes a long way. Make your devices work smarter, not harder. Input devices have come a long way. In the 80s and 90s, trackballs and floppy disks were standard. Trackballs let you roll a ball to move the cursor, great for small desks, but they needed constant cleaning. Floppy disks were the go-to for sharing files, though they held very little data. Keyboards have evolved too, from heavy, clicky mechanical models to today's slim, quiet designs. Technology keeps moving toward being more intuitive and convenient. We've traded clunky mechanisms for light sensors and touchscreens. The job is the same, getting your commands in, but the tools keep getting better. Even the basics are always being reimagined. The last decade has changed how we interact with computers thanks to touch and voice. Touchscreens let us use our fingers to control devices making tech more accessible for everyone. Swiping, tapping, and pinching feel direct and personal. Software now features big, touch-friendly buttons and intuitive gestures. Voice assistants like Siri and Alexa let us talk to our devices in plain language. Hands-free interaction is now possible, ask for the weather play music or dictate a message. Touch and voice are making technology more natural and human. We're moving beyond the desk, connecting with our devices wherever we are. The barrier between human and machine is fading. It's an exciting time for input devices. Input devices are more than accessories, they're your bridge to the digital world. They turn your thoughts into action-making computers and extension of your mind. Every message photo edit or video call starts with these tools. They connect, create, and bring people together. From clunky keyboards to seamless touch and voice input devices keep evolving. The goal, make technology fade into the background so you can focus on what matters. Next time you use your computer, appreciate the gear at your fingertips. These devices are your partners in the digital age. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Have questions or want to learn more? Drop a comment below!